we have some fun plans to share with you, especially coming off of that Real Talk Tuesday where we talked about dreaming and chasing your dreams. Well, we have a dream to share with you today. If you can take some rain, you'll get twice the sun, my friend. You're gonna get there, wait and see. You'll get there eventually. Well, welcome back everybody, first off. I'm John, this is my gorgeous wife, Kristen, and we are out here walking around with our family of five, including the dog back there and three kiddos. We are, I'm a travel nurse, and we take contracts all around the country. We are currently in North Carolina. A little while back, we shared with you some two hard truths of our being, and that is up here, you can check it out, where we shared that we are, would really like to have some land someday. Yes. And, we really, really love this area. So what could that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we are actively looking for land right now. Yes. That does not mean we're going to stop traveling. I know that's probably everybody's first thought. Yeah. Uh, we don't really know exactly what the future holds. Well, and we've also said before, like one of the hardest things about RVing is that you have your home that comes with you, but you don't have a space necessarily that's yours outside of the RV. And that is something that we do struggle with. You know, you could see all these awesome things and do this stuff, but you don't necessarily have a place where you could maybe, I don't know, roots? Yeah. What'd you call roots. it? To roots. put down to put down roots. We got or wings. We don't yeah. have roots. Exactly. Yeah. We go all <laughs> over the place. But there's not necessarily a home to come back to. Yeah. So we are looking to move our home base from Kansas to, to North here. Carolina. To yes. here. And um, so we're looking into what all that entails as far as like the tax aspect of it with yeah. travel nursing. It's always complicated. And, yes, of course. <laughs> um, but we're looking for a piece of land that has a view there's several things that we we have a list mm -hmm. of things that we we're do we have we made it we made a list as a family we sat down at the table one night we said okay i want this one want this this and this, and this. we had a, like a family meeting over dinner and we mapped out we wrote down a list of what each person wanted in yeah. a piece of land and in a future home and um so and then we prayed over it as a family and then we started looking i think when we got here we were like this is the place wow this is this pretty is amazing place. place it's you know it's so important for us to have a few things and one of them is just acreage mm -hmm. and also acreage that we can afford being honest you know there's a part of me that would love to move right back to colorado be close to my brother you know i, I love that area of the country man we can't just can't yeah, afford to can't afford it's it. just so astronomically expensive like the amount of acreage that we're looking at here versus there i mean you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in difference yeah so yeah. um and and this place is just so lush being a temperate rainforest yeah you know everything grows here and we always loved our garden we had a huge greenhouse yeah. in colorado um but man we could grow just about everything here and that's really exciting too <music> If you're in this trade, and if 
first thing I saw when we walked into the clearing were the mountain daisies, which is how John proposed to me. And we had in our, on our Colorado property. So that is very special to me. And the wild strawberries and the wild blueberries and, and raspberry bushes and all, all the, the, the potential to grow. I love that it's out here in the middle of nowhere, but it's within 30 minutes of Asheville. And it looks like a movie. <laughs> it looks like a movie. The view is amazing. There is no doubt about that. I cannot argue with that at all. Here's what I don't like about it. It's six acres. I really wanted 10 or more. Ideally like 20. That's probably being over, or not over, I don't know, greedy maybe, whatever. But I wanted to be able to kind of hunt on the land a little bit. It's neat because it backs right up to conservation land. So nobody's going to be building over here and I'd have to look at the rules. Maybe you could hunt on it. I don't know. We are out looking at properties today. I doubt this is the one. This one is affordable in the sense that we can buy this one in cash out, right? But it's just not what we want. Yeah, but the sun's blocking all the light right now. How do we know what direction we're facing? Well, this one's not it. No, there's very specific things that we have in mind for what we want. We're gonna take our sweet time with finding the property that we really want, um, whether it's going to be like a permanent place or just a place that we kind of come back to while we're still traveling, because we don't need a house right off the bat. And we have Wendy that we can stay in, so it's gonna, we're gonna be very specific about it. Slow We're 20 so minutes from Black Mountain. Yeah, 20 minutes what south? I think it's south of Black Mountain. Which um, is another 20 minutes into Asheville from there. Yeah. So we're like 40, 45 minutes away from the hospital at this yeah. point, probably. But it feels like we're way out in the wilderness because we came up, I don't know how many miles this road is. It's really long. But this is a property that we've been looking at online that we were excited to check out. It's 18.6 acres. Yeah. And it's we, priced right too. We, we think it's the top of a mountain. We think. We're not entirely so sure. We're. Uh, it's four wheel drive only from this point forward. So we're gonna go check it out. There's two like modular homes on the property and there's a nice clearing right here that you could put a garden or park your RV. But the houses are pretty dilapidated, which is fine. We would just tear them down anyways. The thing that we were bummed about is we thought that there would be power, sewer, and water here, which would make this 16 acre lot a lot more appealing. But since it doesn't, it's off the list. Remember what we said about putting your dreams in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a matter of, you know, searching for certain properties like the one that we're on right now um, and just being diligent and prayerful and seeing where God leads us, I guess. Yeah. We want to have a homestead someday. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, I know that's like every RV channel out there. <laughs> eventually becomes like homesteaders. We were doing it before it was cool though. That's true. We were <laughs> we were homesteading like before we started RVing and all that kind of stuff yes. ago. So we want to, we do want to get back to that. We're not sure how that's going to go. We sort of have two different paths here that we see in front of us to get the, 
the, the dream goal is the land with acreage and an eventual homestead with a house. A nice house. Yeah. <laughs> That's the like long term. So there's two different ways in which we can go about that. Because of our circumstances and because of COVID, um, yeah. we do not qualify for a loan currently. Well, and you gotta you gotta say people are gonna go why? I mean, the travel nursing is a big part of it, you guys. The travel nursing, and I've said this in several other videos, real quick, it's a double-edged sword because you make a lot of money, but you have a lot of tax-free money that's not reportable. So the W-2 makes it look like I make squat. And so when you take that to a lender, they're like, you don't make anything. And so in order to kind of get past that, you have to do some special things where like they look at your contracts and paychecks and it's a, what do they call it? A they call manual? They it a manual, over, uh, a manual underwrite. underwrite. And they are not accepting any of those right now during all this COVID shutdown That's right. stuff. And they actually said they don't think that they will until like the fall or, or later. even a year. But also just because of other circumstances, it, it could be two years before we qualify to build Well, we want to be smart about it too. Um, mm -hmm. Just like we're trying to be smart about this land purchase. So we have yeah. saved up a substantial amount of cash to be able to throw down on something like this. I mean, we've even thought about buying something in cash. Yeah. Um, so. We want to do the same thing for when we're ready to build a house, which, like right. Kristen said, could be a long time from yeah. now. You know, so, so our the, paths. The two paths. The two paths are, one, we stay here uh, indefinitely. John takes a permanent job at Mission Hospital or, wherever, or somewhere else somewhere around local. here. Um, we continue living in our RV and we plop it on a piece of land and we go on adventures on the side mm -hmm. when we have breaks or, you mm -hmm. know, because your schedule still allows for that. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'll still have, you know, days like four or five days off where we can take Wendy to the beach, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. So yeah. we would still certainly be RV full timing because right. we're living in the RV regardless. So that's path one. Yeah. What I don't love about path one is that then we're stationary in an RV for a really extended period of time. Mm -hmm. And I don't love that idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, the re there's a reason it has wheels. <laughs> yeah. So option two or path number two is that we buy the land and you extend a contract yep. or get another contract here mm -hmm. so that we can stay here longer. At, sort know, of make it ours a little bit, establish yeah. like, you know, I, I think I'd see us maybe like doing a deck or something like that that's yeah. close to windy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then continue traveling yeah. and come back here, make this our, our, tax, our tax home, home. and come back here between contracts or take another contract here intermittently mm -hmm. for another couple of years. We're thinking 18 months to two years yeah. and then uh, applying for a construction loan at that time and then staying put once we can actually build a house Yeah. and then keeping Wendy for adventures even still. Exactly. Yeah. And, and guys, <laughs> the funny thing about all this that I love the most about Kristen and I is this is just still like one of several huge ridiculous dreams that we have. Yeah. Like the homestead is one of them. We've got other ones that are just as ridiculous and just as big as full timing in an RV. So yeah. well, this channel, it's got, who knows where it's going to go. Yeah. It's always been about taking an unordinary path in life. And we are so happy that you have shared it with us. Yeah, I look forward to taking you with us on the on future all adventures. These crazy adventures. So that, that is what is going on in the Farnsworth life right now. We're seeing tons of properties. We've gone to probably 15 or 20 At properties least, on yeah. our own. We've mm -hmm. been talking to a realtor. Um, a lender. And a bunch a lender. of different people. We've, yeah. yeah, we've gone through a lending process, which was a little sad, but you know, it's this reality. It's and, the times uh, that we live in and that's um, okay. <laughs> yes. And so uh, here we are and we have a couple of, of properties that we've filmed and we'll show you, but this one. This one's special. This, this one's is might be why, special. you know, there's some challenges that come with this one too. And we're not sure if we can even overcome those. So while it's great and everything, we're just going to have to see and we will keep you updated and posted on how it all goes. <laughs> Well, this is so cool. There's all kinds of cut out roads running through this property and they've got views. It's, it's pretty steep though. Really would like to find something that already has established a septic, a well, and electricity. We're looking for something that has either a dilapidated house on it that we can just- Not care about. <laughs> you know, tear down and use the utilities. Uh, or something that someone else has already created, an RV pad situation where mm -hmm. we can hook up. We just want to be able stuff. to drive, literally like drive up onto it, park Wendy and be good to go for a while. Right. Woo! Woo! Uh, we might <laughs> definitely need a four wheel drive for this one. 
John's trying to get the van up the hill and it's not gonna make it. So uh, definitely have to take the truck up the hill and not the van, which is something that we have to take into consideration. Things will work out right. Cinder. We are 50 minutes away from the hospital, so it does mean a commute for John three days a week. And that's actually not much more than what he did in Colorado. It was about 45 minutes when we lived in Colorado. So he's kind of used to a commute and it's a beautiful drive. But it's also 30 minutes from the town of Waynesville, which is the closest town where you can find things like Walmart or Target or Chick-fil-A or whatever. Future site of an epic treehouse. Sometimes exploring the property line is difficult. You uh, found the way down yet? I'm working on it. This is the edge of the property. I think it goes all the way up there. I would love to have a place where like other travel nurses or other people that are full-time RVing can come and park yes. and be, you know, yeah, we're staying with us, you know, and that kind of stuff. Cause yeah. we've, we've experienced that in a couple of different places now on contract and it is, it's really special. I mean, there's really just not a, another way to say it. Yeah. So I want to be able to offer that up to somebody someday. Yeah. So those are, I think are the main things. And yeah. then we have a lot of little things. The kids really want to have rocks that they can climb on. They want to have enough trees to build their own trail tree, system yes, and a, a tree, tree house. house is huge. Yeah. And they want a zip line and a trampoline. And they a have, pool, you know. they <laughs> have big plans. They have really big yes. plans, you guys. Way bigger plans than we have. <laughs> it's, it's really great because it's got uh, right off the road, there is a separate flatter area where there was a previous RV pad. It's got a 30 amp hookup right there. It's got a septic tank and it's got a well, which is great because it means we've got a place to park Wendy down low. We move up here someday and then we've got a pad down low for somebody else to use. And I'm just, or for my parents to come and visit. Well, I mean, or anyone else there's somebody RV. else. I mean, yeah, anybody, <laughs> you know, so that's all super exciting for us. The hard part about it is, is there's, there could still be something else out there. So we're yeah. just going to continue to look for a little bit longer and see what happens. And again, mm -hmm. like the obstacles, one of the biggest ones is there's zero cell service out here. It does, does not work. Oh, this one haunts my dreams, you guys. <laughs> I close my eyes and I can see it all. It's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you want to wrap it up? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys again for being with us. Stay tuned for Tuesday because we have a special real talk about COVID testing from this guy. Oh, yes. We had an eventful week. I had an event. Well, I guess you, I we mean, all did, but mine was did. maybe a little more eventful. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what else? That's, That's all. It. That's about it. Anyway, right. as always, you guys, thank you for being a part of this. Ring the bell for notifications, hit the thumbs up, that helps the videos a lot. And if you're brand new, please leave comments in the uh, the section below and let us know. And if you're interested in becoming an NOP and joining our coffee club, you can check out the link below called Buy Me A Coffee. We'd love to have you join us. All right. Thanks guys, and we will see, <laughs> see you out, you out there. there. Things will work out right in time. Get your